Welcome to the official 5th Annual Pro Wrestling Central Awards for the year 2021. Proudly presented to you by Pro Wrestling Central. I am your host, the CEO of PWC, your boy Nashville. And guys, here it is. We have come to yet the end of another year. And as per tradition, every single year for the last five years in a row, Pro Wrestling Central is bringing to you the award ceremony of the year in the pro wrestling industry. For those of you who don't know, this is an award show um, showcasing the best and worst of pro wrestling for the year 2021 as voted for by you, the audience, the viewers, the guys who sent in their votes and made their voices heard by casting their votes in their ballots on what they felt was the best and worst of pro wrestling across the globe for the year of 2021. For those who aren't aware, we've been holding this now for like five years. It originally started off as a WhatsApp only, a, a, on a WhatsApp based group. Guys used to send in their votes and for the last five years, I've been the coordinator of the program, the SF Pro Wrestling Central Annual Awards program. I collate the votes. I myself do not cast a vote. I prefer to remain neutral. I just collect the votes. I count them. I tally them. And then based on which, you know, what got most votes, I present that to uh, them in the group back then. Um, in 2019, we had the first ever jewel. Um, Pro Wrestling Central Awards where we presented the best and worst of 2019 as well as the best and worst of Pro Wrestling in the 2010s decade where they could vote on anything from 2010 to 2019 and we presented it on the same day in a dual awards show. In 2020, last year, we took it a step further. Many of you may remember this or recall this where we simulcasted the awards as it took place, as it was happening across five of our platforms. That was our WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, including our website. The results were posted live as it was happening. And now this year we decided to take it just another step further and post the first ever Pro Wrestling Central Awards to take place on our brand new YouTube channel that was launched just this year. We're super, uber, duper excited for this, guys. So guys, if you haven't already, smash the like button on this video and subscribe to Pro Wrestling Central already. Turn on those bell notifications. And just for this video, I'm making a special request. Please hit the share button underneath this video. Copy the link and share this video as far and as wide as you can. Let's get as many eyes as we can onto the Pro Wrestling Central channel let them come on board 2022 we got a whole host of amazing content coming your way guys so guys share this video let's get the word out there subscribe like let's get into the awards I have your awards right here in the envelopes all of them have been collated and tallied by me the guys I appreciate you thank you so much for sending your votes through to us at Pro Wrestling Central I have remained neutral I have not casted a vote I, I'm an independent adjudicator, I guess you could say, even though I'm the CEO of PWC. So I've read the votes, I've tallied them, I've counted them, and based on your awards, I'm going to present them here tonight. They're all in these envelopes. And as I present the best and worst of Pro Wrestling as voted for by you in the year 2021, I'm going to give my thoughts on a few of them because obviously um, I, I usually have something to say. Uh, every Pro Wrestling fan is opinionated and I'm no different, so I'm going to do that for you guys. But before we get into to that um, you know every year we got a lot of newcomers that enter the pro wrestling central I mean sorry the pro wrestling industry but at the same time we lose a lot of legends um, a lot of popular names as in life as in any sport it happens even in pro wrestling sin in pro wrestling and 2021 was no different so before we get into the festivities I just want us to take a moment of silence bow our heads respectively and you know, observe a moment of silence for the souls that we have lost this year and I hope they rest in peace. So guys, if you can, just bow your heads. Let's observe a moment of silence as we toll the bell 10 times.
Thank you so much for that moment of silence. Now, let's get into this. So, you know, every year we also have a lot of wrestlers that go into retirement or semi-retirement at times. And, you know, we'd like to take a moment to give them some honor. So, last year at Pro Wrestling Central, we came up with the Honorary Award. So I want to present those honorary awards right now to those who are retired and semi-retired one by one in the order in which they are retired this year. So first up, we have the Brian Kendrick, retired March 2021. We have Kenny Dykstra, retired 20 April 2021. We have ACH. Jordan Miles, retired 16 June 2021. We have Awesome Kong, some of you guys may know her as Karma for a short stint in WWE, retired 28 August 2021. And we have the suicidal, genocidal, homicidal, death defying Sabu, retired on the 5th of November 2021. Those are the names that, you know, retired this year and we at Pro Wrestling Central, we thank them for all the memories they've given us over the years in pro wrestling, they will not be forgotten. Um, some names were semi-retirement, so we may see them perform again, but um, we just like to hand out those honorary awards and acknowledge them and thank them for their contributions to wrestling. Speaking of contributions to wrestling, last year Pro Wrestling Central introduced a brand new award category called the Lifetime Achievement Award. Now. We, we hand this award out to wrestlers or performers or per, you know personalities in the pro wrestling central uh, pro wrestling industry that we feel really you know, gave their souls to the company to the industry really redefined it or was iconic you know left some piece of themselves in the business and last year the very first recipient of that award was none other than the undertaker he deserves it so the 2020 lifetime achievement award went to the undertaker coincidentally in survivor series of that year he celebrated his 30-year career and he officially retired with his retiring ceremony taking place in the survivor series so this year we're keeping the tradition going and the 2021 recipient of the Pro Wrestling Central Lifetime Achievement Award goes to If you smell what The Rock is cooking. That's right, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment and the most electrifying man in all of entertainment is the guy that we picked, we decided deserves to get the Lifetime Achievement Award this year, so Rock Thank you for all you've given to the industry for, you know, transcending the boundaries of pro wrestling. I mean, he's not just a pro wrestling star. He's a mainstream movie star. He's, you know, made it past, way past wrestling. So, yeah, man, Rock, thank you so much for all your contributions to wrestling. We truly and greatly appreciate you. Now, we move on to what are the votes that you guys sent in. Um, there were a lot of categories this year, and you guys sent your votes in. You made your voices heard. So, again, thank you. And right here, right now, I'm going to present to you guys your awards. Now, before we get to the best and worst, there were two awards that aren't really best or worst because you can't really categorize them, but they deserve a nod. And the first award of the Pro Wrestling Central Award, the fifth annual Pro Wrestling Central, Central Awards, this time for the year 2021, is for the LOL Moment Award of the year all right and the winner is <laughs> this one made me laugh and clearly it did to you guys too because you guys voted for it paul Heyman sings john cena's theme song <laughs> That was really funny. That was really funny. So yeah, Paul Heyman singing John Cena's theme song is your guys' votes for LOL Moment of the Year 2021. Now, we move on to OMG Moment of the Year 2021. And the winner is, as voted for by you guys, oh, this was a good one, 
Big E wins money in the bank. I think it's safe to say that no one of us really saw this one coming. Um, a lot of us were predicting like, I mean, if you go back and you watch the major players' predictions for money in the bank, a lot of us predicted that um, uh, Sami Zayn would win. Some of us predicted Johnny Drip Drip. We didn't really expect Big E, but I, if I recall correctly, I think Jeremy was one of the major players that predicted that Big E would win. So you know what? Kudos to you, Jeremy. You got it right. And it wins the OMG moment of the year. Big E wins Money in the Bank. OMG moment of the year 2021. Pro Wrestling Central Awards, fifth annual. Let's keep it going. This year we had a new category added, and a lot of you did send a lot of votes. Um, I'd say one of them was unanimous, and the other one, I think only won by two votes because the rest of the votes were kind of scattered, everybody had their own opinion. But there was one particular one that was voted on twice, so by default it became the one that would win. This one is for the worst pro wrestling, pro wrestling meme of the year, 2021. And the winner of this Razzie Award, I think this is going to put a smile on the guy I just spoke about, Jeremy from the Major Players, Otis Memes. Any meme that involved Otis of, uh, what's it, the Alpha Academy now? Yeah, any meme that involved Otis, you guys absolutely despised it, so it takes home the Razzie Award for Worst Wrestling Meme of the Year now. But the Best Pro Wrestling Meme of the Year... We had a tie. We had a tie. Most of you were voting one or the other. So by default, um, we ended up with a tie. We have two winners for the best pro wrestling, sen pro wrestling meme of the year. And the winners are Blank is All Elite and I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Our truth. He's, he's phenomenal. He's still making jokes in this day and age. I mean, Blank is All Elite. We've all seen those ones. And, I mean, if you've been on YouTube or anywhere else, you've, you've probably seen this video meme. I don't even know if that's PG. So, yeah. I don't even know if that's PG and Blank is All Elite. Tie for Best Pro Wrestling Meme of the Year. Uh, our first tie of the evening, if you ask me. Uh, actually, it is. Now we move on to worst theme song of the year and the winner is of course Braun Breaker NXT's newest star Braun Breaker NXT 2.0 as they're calling it I still don't agree with that name but whatever but yeah this is warranted because it seems like they're trying to make Braun Breaker into the next Scott Steiner even though he's Rick's son but everybody knows you know, Scott Steiner more than Rick Steiner because Scott Steiner actually had a stint in WWE, I believe, and I'm not sure if Rick Steiner did. He was more of a WCW guy. But yeah, Braun Breaker's got the worst theme of the year, 2021. His theme is very generic, and it's like a carbon copy of Scott Steiner's theme, Big Papa Pomp's theme. Come on. Now we move on to the best theme song of the year. Now, I know for a fact there was a tie. There was a tie between two songs. Um, when the votes started coming in, there was one song that ha already had a tie. But then after that, I got two votes with an equal amount, and they surpassed the one that was coming before. The one that came in before is actually Judas, Chris Jericho's theme song sung by his band Fozzy. Um, you know the one that crowd always sings along to, Judas in, Judas in my mind. But this year we had a different kind of tie for two songs. Um, the first one is Jungle Boy's Tarzan theme song. Oh, 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 oh. And we got Wild Thing by John Moxley. You make my heart sing, oh no. <laughs> so yeah, we got Jungle Boy, John Moxley, tie for best wrestling, pro wrestling theme song of the year. Um, warranted because, I mean, both songs are sung by the audience. The whole audience sings Wild Thing, the whole audience sings along with Jungle Boy's theme song. So they tie for Best Theme Song of the Year 2021. Now, moving on, the next award we have is for the Worst Pro Wrestling Promotion of the Year. 
I think I already know which one this is. It was the same one as last year. Unfortunately, the winner... Well, I, can you call anyone who wins a worst pro wrestling award a winner? I guess they are. Impact Wrestling. No shock here. This company has just faced trials and tribulations. They tried a little partnership with AEW. Didn't end up working out with uh, Kenny Omega and Don Callis. It seemed like AEW was taking over um, Impact Wrestling. And yeah, they dropped highly in ratings. They've, they've been dropping in ratings forever, it seems. Um, so the less said about that, the better. Moving on to the best Pro Wrestling Promotion of the Year 2021, and the winner is All Elite Wrestling, AEW. Was there any question? This company, as much as they are, they do have their critics and warranted because sometimes they do stuff that a lot of us fans don't like, but they deserve the award. They are, they're always trying their best. They're innovating. They're putting their best foot forward. They just recruited some great stars in CM Punk, Brian Danielson, and Adam Cole. Baby! So yeah, that's why they win Best Pro Wrestling Promotion of the Year, AEW All Elite Wrestling. Moving on to the worst WWE brand of the year, 2021. And the winner is... Unfortunately, 205 Live. I have something to say. When I, when I heard that the Cruiserweight division was making a comeback and they were having the Cruiserweight Classic, I was happy, I was excited because everybody knows I'm a huge fan of High Flyers, I'm a huge fan of Cruiserweights. So if they had a Cruiserweight division, I was all for it. But 205 Live started out great, brilliant, ran great for I think Two years. We even had a classic match at the kickoff a couple of years ago. I mean, two back-to-back -back years. We had Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship. And the following year, we got an even better match when Cedric Alexander took on Mustafa Ali for the Cruiserweight Championship at WrestleMania. It was the first time that Cedric Alexander won the title. A black man has won at WrestleMania. Um, so huge kudos to Cedric Alexander and Ali for putting on a great match. They really did. Um, but in recent years, 205 Live is no longer warranted. It's not even live anymore, so why have it? And it's not even about cruiserweight. So your, your weight limit, 205, the whole show makes no sense. I say scrap it, get rid of it. There's no need for it. Just put the guys on NXT like you already. You already have Roderick Strong, part of the Diamond Mine, representing the NXT Cruiserweight Championship, not even the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. It's not the NXT Cruiserweight Championship, so you might as well put the, the Cruiserweight guys, get them showcased more on NXT. Give them a division like you did when you had, you know, the Cruiserweight division being represented on Raw. It was exclusive to Raw, so why not go ahead and do that again, you know? But yeah, worst WWE brand of the year for the year 2021 is 205 Live. Now we move on to the best WWE brand of the year 2021. And the winner is, of course, SmackDown takes the cake on this one. I mean, SmackDown had some of the best storylines this year. I mean, you're looking at Roman Reigns, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Edge, uh, just recently, Naomi, Sonya Deville. These are great storylines. SmackDown is putting on some really great content right now, better than some of that overbloated stuff on Raw. So, best WWE brand of the year 2021 goes to SmackDown. Well deserved. They're putting on great shows every week. I'm one who really looks forward to watching SmackDown every week. So I'm really glad that they won this award. Best WWE brand of the year is SmackDown. Now, we're getting closer to the meat of the awards as we award the best pay-per-view or event of the year 2021. And the winner is... AEW All Out. This was a fantastic pay-per-view. The in-ring return of CM Punk against Darby Allin. Uh, you know, the championship matches. Kenny Omega. You had the, the debut of Danielson. Uh, Adam Cole. Baby! I mean, this was an absolutely phenomenal pay-per-view. Start to finish. And, I mean, even the Steel Cage match. The Lucha Bros vs. The Young Bucks. Absolutely phenomenal match. So that's why AEW All Out wins Best pay-per-view or event of the year 2021. Now, in, in stark contrast, we are going to look now at what was 
the worst pay-per-view or event of the year 2021 as voted for by you, the fans, the guys who voted in the Pro Wrestling Central Awards for 2021. And the winner for best pay worst pay-per-view or event of the year goes to WWE's Extreme Rules. There are not enough words that can explain why I know why this ended up here. One Extreme Rules match, and it was only announced the Friday before the pay-per-view. The ending of that pay-per-view, absolute garbage, absolute trash. The way Balor and Roman Reigns ended in that main event, absolute gobbledygook, really. The gobbledygook, they, that match made the gobbledygook look like a good idea. That's how bad Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor was, and I'm glad that it you know what, I don't even want to talk about this. This this is just getting me irate. Everybody knows how I feel about this pay-per-view. Extreme Rules was a great pay-per-view. It was all about extreme matches. You had false count anywhere matches. You had extreme rules matches. You had street fights. You name it, you had the match type. This was supposed to be a pay-per-view about extreme rules. And they extremely ruined it, is what they did. So the less said about this pay-per-view, the better. This is an award show. I'm not trying to get heated. So let's move on to what what, what you guys voted and thought was the worst storyline or feud of the year 2021 in the 5th Annual Pro Wrestling Central Awards. And it goes to... Alexa Bliss versus Dewdrop. Absolutely agree with you guys. This was an absolute garbage of a feud. I don't even know what you call this. I don't even want to look at it anymore. I don't even know what it was. I know Alexa Bliss went off and did some voodoo stuff, but this, this feud with Dewdrop wasn't going, going anywhere. Absolute garbage, and I do not want to even talk about it. Now let's move on to what you guys felt was the best storyline or feud of the year 2021 in pro wrestling and the winner is i like this one seth rollins versus edge like i mentioned earlier smackdown has been putting out some of the best storylines of the year and seth rollins versus edge was one of those i mean you guys could have chosen from any storyline you could have chosen the index storyline you guys could have chosen the mysterios you guys could have chosen roman reigns versus either john cena or brock lesnar but you guys chose seth rollins versus edge and i absolutely 100 percent 110 percent agree with you guys this was an absolutely brilliant pay uh, feud the payoff was great the build-up was absolutely phenomenal the promos the matches everything the storytelling it was absolutely phenomenal from start to finish and that's why i think seth rollins versus edge went on to win the um best storyline of feud of the year for the year 2021 as voted for by you guys so guys great job Seth Rollins vs. Edge was the best storyline or feud of the year. Moving on. What you guys thought was the worst promo or segment of the year 2021. And the winner is... Yep, couldn't agree with you guys more. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair's title exchange. Like, what was that segment? First of all, everyone knows, I mentioned this in the major players. Okay? So the winner of worst... Feud or storyline promo segment of the year is Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair title exchange, right? That was the worst of it. But I was voted for by you guys and I agree with you. I'm going to tell you why. I don't agree with this whole title exchange thing. Just because she moved over to Raw, now they have to do a title exchange. They did the same thing last year in 2020. You know, when they had to do with the tag titles, they had to swap the belts. I didn't agree with it then. I don't agree with it now. And I will never, ever be in agreement with how this whole thing works out. Just don't have title exchanges. Don't have the draft happen this way. Don't exchange champions. Only exchange champions that can't be, you know. Like, this is why I like the first brand split. You had the tag champs, the world tag champs, the WWE tag champs. They could cross floors. It didn't say I'm only SmackDown or I'm only Raw and I'm color-coded. They could cross the floor. Same with the Divas and the Women's Championship. They could cross the floor because they weren't color-coded. They weren't color-branded. They weren't the Raw Divas Championship and the SmackDown. No, it could be the Women's Champion on Raw, the Divas Champion on SmackDown, the Divas Champion on Raw, the Women's Champion on SmackDown. It could, 
It could work that way. Just like with the WWE Champion in the Universal Championship, they can't cross floors because it's not color coded. It doesn't say I'm only specifically for Raw, I'm only specifically for SmackDown. I think today's titles with the Raw Women's and the Raw Tag Teams and the SmackDown Women's and SmackDown Tag Team, very generic. I don't like it and I would love WWE to go back and make changes or bring back old titles and just be able to cross the floor with champions. I don't mind champions crossing floors. I have a problem when you have to change the titles because you have to keep color because now it makes it look like Becky Lynch beat someone she never beat for a title. Just because she's on this brand, she has to hold the title because it's that color, because it's that brand's title. It messes up the whole lineage. I don't like it, I don't agree with it, but I don't wanna get heated. Like I said, this is an award show, this is not a Nash rant, so let's just move on to what you guys voted and thought was the best promo segment of the year 2021. And the winner is CM Punk and MJF trade pipe bombs, bro. Bro, 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 <laughs> like bro. I thought CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston was great, and then I saw CM Punk versus MJF's promo. <sighs> when MJF says, you drop pipe bombs, I drop nukes. <laughs> you knew it was on. From that point on, you knew it was on. CM Punk and MJF is a great feud to end the year on. And I'm glad that this segment right here, this absolute pure resistance of a pro segment won it your award. I'm actually glad and I'm happy and I'm thankful for AEW because we get great promo segments and moments like this for you guys to be able to vote and say it's the best of the year. So CM Punk versus CM Punk and MJF trade pipe bombs. Your vote for the best promo or segment of the year 2021 in the fifth annual Pro Wrestling Central Awards. First time ever on YouTube. Let's keep it going with what you guys voted and thought was, was the worst chance or catchphrases of the year 2021. And the winner is... <laughs> I agree. Needle dick. Really. Needle dick. Needle dick. I get it. I get the segment. I know why it was said. But this is childish. Needle dick. And for the crowd to chant along with it. I mean, I know they were caught up in the moment, but this really... I get why you guys voted it as worst of the year. It, it really didn't make any sense. Now, moving on to the best chance or catchphrases of the year. 2021. And the winner is... <laughs> Was there any doubt? Acknowledge me. You, you watching this video out in pro wrestling land, you will acknowledge me as the tribal chief of pro wrestling central. <laughs> Just kidding guys, yeah. Best chant, actually best catchphrase of the year 2021 goes to Roman Reigns for this brilliant gem of a line. Two words that carry so much of weight in wrestling. Acknowledge me. Now moving on to a category that's contentious every year and I'm considering maybe removing it for next year because it's really not warranted anymore and that is the worst ring announcer of the year 2021. And it goes to, I mean you guys really had no choice here but to vote for this lady Alicia Taylor. Not the best, not the worst, in my opinion. She's not doing a bad job. She's great at what she does, but, you know, she's not Greg Hamilton great. So, unfortunately, Alicia Taylor, the drummer and ring announcer, I think, of NXT, if I'm not mistaken, wins Worst Ring Announcer of the Year, 2021. Her counterpart won the Best Ring Announcer of the Year, 2021. And as I knew, as I predicted, you guys love him. Greg Hamilton, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant ring announcer. He does the job right. So Greg Hamilton, I think for the second or third year in a row now, he's won um, best ring announcer of the year. I'm sure if we had this award ceremony back in 2011, 2012, the, the, the winners would probably be like, uh, what, what was his name that used to announce Alberto Del Rio to the ring? Ricardo Rodriguez, yeah, he would win. Definitely he would win if we were having this way back in 2011. Um, 
Moving on, we now move on to keeping with the commentary team, the announcing team. We are moving on to the worst commentator of the year award. And it goes to Byron Saxton. Everybody hates him, even his compadres, the guys who sit at the table with him, also dislike him. I don't blame him. Booty Saxton, Byron Saxton needs some bootios because they will make sure he ain't booty. So Byron Saxton, you are still the worst commentator of the year. I don't know how many years you've won this now. In contrast, best commentator of the year. I know who this is because it's the first time he's won one and it's very well deserved. The best commentator of the year 2021 is voted for by you, the fans, and the voters of Pro Wrestling Central is none other than Pat McAfee. This guy is a genius. For a guy who's only sitting at the commentary table just recently and just pick it up so quick, in, in Corey Graves quick, Pat McAfee, you deserve this, brother. This is your, your award, man. Pat McAfee, best commentator of the year, as voted for by Pro Wrestling Central voters. We then go to another category I'm looking at phasing out next year because really it's it's coming to an, a point where it's not really warranted as much and that's the worst on-screen authority figure of the year. And the winner is, no doubt about it, Adam Pierce. This guy, he was good. He was good for a while. But I don't know what happened. He just he just went from good to bad somehow in the last year. I mean, he still plays his role well, but he's just not hitting at the point he needs to. And that's why Adam Pierce, you are the worst on-screen authority figure of the year 2021 is voted for by the fans. And the winner of the best authority figure of the year 2021 is actually your compadre, your partner in crime herself, Sonia Deville. She's doing it good. And let me tell you why I know why you guys voted for her. This whole heel gimmick of her where she's, you know, taking on um, Naomi and doing this whole, you know, feud and program with Naomi. She's doing it right. She's doing the, the heel authority figure right. The way Adam Pierce should be doing it and he's, he's absolutely failing dismally. Sonia Deville is excelling and she's doing it absolutely right. The heel authority figure is supposed to have a vendetta. Just the same way McMahon and Stone Cold Steve Austin never used to get along. That's why Sonya Deville wins Best Pro Wrestling On-Screen Authority Figure of the Year 2021. We then move on to what was another category I might phase out next year, and that is Worst On-Screen Couple of the Year 2021. And the winners are... Cody and Brandy Rhodes. I hardly know that this is a couple anymore on screen. They hardly bring it up, except for that feud with Malachi Black. They really aren't doing it very well. I just don't agree with it. So Cody and Brandy Rhodes, you guys are the worst on-screen couple of the year 2021, as voted for by the fans of Pro Wrestling Central. Moving on to what we, what you guys felt was the best on-screen couple of the year. And I know who this one is. It's the one that's been loved by all. None other than Indy Hartwell and Dexter Loomis. We all love Index. We all love Index. This was a love story. This was a match made in heaven. After Dexter Loomis took on Johnny Gargano in that match, and Indy still rebelled, she ran into the ring you know, embraced Dexter and kissed him even though he lost. That was a great moment. So, Indy Hartwell, Dexter Loomis, you guys deserve this one's for you guys. Best on-screen couple of the year 2021. Now, we have guys that come into the wrestling business and uh, don't do very well. And some do very well. And then some do well and then they go back down but they bring themselves back up but some don't quite make it and that's why we introduced what was called the least improved of the year 2021 this is an award that's been going on since 2021 since 2017 when we started and the winner of the least improved of the year 2021 is our truth the guy does the same shtick every year. He's doing the same thing every year. He was fun to start off with, but now he's just doing the same stuff. I'm just not into your truth as I used to be. 
Sorry, dude. We might phase out this award next year as well. I mean, sometimes it's hard to figure out who has improved and who hasn't. But besides, I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Our truth, you didn't improve at all, so you won least improved of the year. Now, in stark contrast, most improved of the year award goes to... I like this one. Mandy Rose, the current NXT Women's Champion as of this recording of this video. Man, like, man oh man, Mandy Rose. <laughs> it's funny, you don't see it often, but a, a, a change in her hair color was all she needed. That was all Mandy Rose needed was a change in hair color, a change in attitude to be more heelish. She has been the most improved of the year 2021. She deserves this award. I'm glad you guys voted for her. Mandy Rose, you deserve this award. She is indeed Mandy Rose, the most improved of the year 2021. Now, like I was saying earlier, when I mentioned the guys who passed on, we always have some guys who come into the wrestling business every year. There's always an influx, always new talent coming in. But there are some who make it and do really good, and then there are some who don't. So this one is in honor of the worst newcomer or return of the year. And this one actually is a return of the year that we absolutely thought was absolutely terrible. And it goes to Eva Marie. Eva Marie wins worst return of the year. She does absolutely nothing for the business. I mean, her red, all red, everything. She can't wrestle. She can't talk. She's a terrible actor. All Eva Marie is good for is modeling, and I think that's what she should do. Just transition maybe to modeling or backstage role. You, your your on-screen character sucks badly. So Eva Marie, worst return of the year. Now, for the best return of the year, and I knew this one before you guys even voted, and I was right. So best return of the year 2021 goes to CM Punk. Our fellow major player brethren, Jeremy, this is his favorite wrestler of all time. Other than Otis. Otis is his other favorite wrestler. CM Punk. That's his other favorite wrestler right there. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. The cult of personality. I love it when the crowd sings along with the theme songs. It's great. But his return, my jaw dry. Kind of had a feeling it would return, but I didn't really know for sure. When it really happens, you're like, ooh, ah, wow, right? So when CM Punk returning, I got the same feeling. I'm glad he did it. So CM Punk, this one's for you, brother. You win. Best return of the year 2021 as voted for by the fans of Pro Wrestling Central. Now, another category that we're considering maybe removing next year, but we're going to award it this year because you guys voted for it. Worst heel of the year. And the winner is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella. Where do I go with her? She was good when she started off. She molded into her own. She was the winner of the, she was the first ever female to win the women's money in the bank. I gotta specify that because we all remember that absolute train smash with James Ellsworth. So Carmella, she takes home the award for the Worst heel of the year. This whole beautiful gimmick she's doing and this whole tag team she's got with Selena Vega. I'm not buying into it. They're just not getting over with me. Now, best heel of the year. All right. And I think there's no dispute as to who the winner of this award is because we all know who is the best heel in all of pro wrestling right now. So you guys voted for none other than Maxwell Jacob Friedman. M. J F absolute best heel in the business today Maxwell Jacob Friedman MJF wins best heel of the year 2021 is voted for by the fans of pro wrestling central well deserved my man not more needs to be said about you we all know how amazing and great you are you are the best heel i love it even if you see this video and you roast me i will enjoy it because you are the best heel you are a pillar of pro wrestling you are a pillar of AEW. you are the best heel in the business today my man maxwell jacob friedman mjf 
I salute you. Next up, we have the award for worst face of the year. And the winner is the guy who was voted as the best face of the year last year in last year's Pro Wrestling Central Awards, Drew McIntyre. I don't know where he went wrong, this whole feud with Jinder Mahal and the sword and Nessie and this whole historian McIntyre with the sword acting like Braveheart wannabe 2.0. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Drew McIntyre was great last year, that hunting for the title, taking out Brock Lesnar, taking on the head of the table, Roman Reigns, that was great, but this year, he's the worst face of the year. He's trying and he's just not making it. He needs a repackaging, he needs a new gimmick, he needs something, because right now, whatever he's doing ain't working. And now, best face of the year, pro wrestling, 2021, goes to Big E. Not Big D in Drew McIntyre, but Big E. You have Big Bob, Big E, Big E Langston, Big Big D. <coughs> Big E, best face of the year. I think pickings were slim, and that's why I'm thinking of getting rid of the face and heel awards. But Big E wins best face of the year in pro wrestling 2021. It's voted for by you guys. Now we're getting closer to the main meat of the rest. I know I said that before, but now we're really getting close as we award what you guys voted for as the worst tag team or stable of the year. And the winner is, yeah, I knew this was coming, Natalia and Tamina. Why? I have one question, why? I know what you guys voted for, I understand it, but why they were why were they even a tag team? Why? This this tag team made no sense. It was like it's just a thrown together tag team. I don't even know why. I don't want to say any more on it because really it's just gonna make me heated. Like I said, this is an award show, it's not Nash Rand. So let's just move on to what you guys voted and thought was the best tag team or stable of the year 2021. And the winner's putting a smile on my face already. It is the bloodline. That includes Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, Jey Uso, and Paul Heyman as the wise men, as the special counsel for the tribal chief himself. This is what you call a stable of 2021. The storylines they had, the absolute year they had, the titles they won, the storylines they've been involved in. They would have been a top this business for 2021 and that's why the bloodline is the best tag team or stable of the year 2021 is voted for by you guys in pro wrestling central getting very close as we vote for the worst female wrestler of the year and it goes to poor girl rhea ripley where did she go wrong? She was a champion. She was riding a top before the pandemic hit. She was going to perform against Charlotte Flair in a title match at Raymond's James Stadium. She was a dominant champion in NXT. She was dominant when she came to the main roster. Very promising. Had a great career and then she teamed up with Nikki Ash and her career just started to go downhill from there. Just recently she was the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion and now she's the worst female wrestler of the year as voted for by you guys in pro wrestling. We ever believe my heart goes out to you girl, really. You should try something in 2021. I don't know what you can try to try and get better, but anything is better than where you are right now. Now we move on to the best female wrestler of the year and it goes to <laughs> Dr. Britt Baker D. M D. You just gotta do it. Just like when you go with her fiance or her husband, Adam Cole. Bye bye. You have to go. Dr. Britt Baker D M D is the best female wrestler of the year as voted for by you guys, the Pro Wrestling Central fans. So Dr. Britt Baker D M D, congratulations. Well deserved. Now, moving on to what you guys thought was the worst male wrestler of the year. And it goes to 
<laughs> Jeremy, you're gonna love this one. Otis, worst male wrestler of the year 2021 goes to Otis of the Alpha Academy. The less said about him, the better. The less said about Cam from Modern Family, the better. <laughs> Otis, worst male wrestler of the year 2021. Now, moving on to award most of you guys are looking forward to. Who did you guys think and vote for as the best male wrestler of the year 2021? I know who it is, and let's reveal it right now. The winner of the best male wrestler 2021 goes to... <laughs> Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the man who demands that you acknowledge him, the WWE Universal Champion himself, Roman Reigns. This man is the best wrestler right now, best male wrestler. He deserves it. He absolutely deserves it. This is his time. This is his moment. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the current WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns is the best male wrestler of the year. Well deserved, much deserved. Round of applause for him, guys. He deserves it now. Moving on to the last two awards of the evening. First up, we have the worst match of the year 2021 as voted for by you guys, and it is. Yep, by landslide, all of you guys hated this match. Damian Priest versus The Miz in an Army of the Dead Lumberjack match from WrestleMania Backlash 2021. What was that? Even Dave Bautista, the guy, the former WWE superstar who starred in that event, said that this was an absolute bust of a match. He, he received a lot of backlash for it. He said, go complain to Vince, because I didn't say have a whole army of undead zombies invaded. We were just sponsoring it. They didn't have to do this whole wannabe cinematic thing for Damien Priest and Miz. This was a mistake by WWE. The less said about it, better. I just want to forget it and move on. This is one of those things about 2021 that I would rather forget. Now, the thing I would not want to forget about 2021 is what you guys, the Pro Wrestling Central fans, voted for as best match of the year. This is it, guys. The final award of the official 5th Annual Pro Wrestling Central Awards for the year 2021. We are awarding what you guys felt was the best match of the year 2021. Can I get a drum roll, please? And the winner of the best match of the year 2021 goes to... Edge versus Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell, Crown Jewel 2021. This, this is what you call a match. Look at it. Look at it real nicely. I'm going to put it right up in the camera's face right there. Edge versus Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell, Crown Jewel 2021. This is what you call a match. Anybody who enters a pro wrestling central, pro wrestling business, study this match. There's a reason it is the best match of the year 2021. Edge versus Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell 2021. There is a reason. Go and study the match, go watch it. Storytelling, spots, stars, wrestling, weapons, anything and everything you could ever want out of a match, you got it there. I remember myself and the other fellow major players, Jeremy, Vaz, and I think Kyle even joined us for a while. We had a watch along of Crown Jewel live as it was happening. And we said best match of the night, hands down, was the Hell in a Cell. It opened up the night. It could have been the main event, but it wasn't. We understand why. But to open up the night and have an epic and amazing match like that take place, that speaks volumes. So that is why best match of the year 2021 is Edge versus Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell, Crown Jewel 2021. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. That's all the awards I have for you guys here tonight. We ran through all of them. There they are right here. All the awards as voted for by you guys. Thank you so much for voting. We're going to do this again, same time, same place, next year, right here on the Pro Wrestling Central channel. Guys, check it out. Do not miss it. Remember, 
Smash the like button on this video. Subscribe to Pro Wrestling Central if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications and a special request I'm making just for this video. Hit that share button. Copy the link. Share this video everywhere. Even to people who aren't pro wrestling fans, share it to them. Let's get as many people as we can to come over here. Encourage them to subscribe, to like. We got a lot of loads of amazing content coming up in 2022, guys. So be sure, stay tuned, check it out. Do not miss it. And yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. I am still mind blown. This has been a really interesting Pro Wrestling Central Awards. I enjoyed it. First time on camera doing it. Um, first time for the YouTube channel. Uh, five years in a row. Next year will be six years in a row. Who knows what we'll be awarding on the 30th of December 2022 when we run down what you guys voted. Again, what you guys voted as the best and worst of the year 2022. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm glad you guys joined us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the flip side of 2022 with a whole lot of great content with my major player brothers. Pro Wrestling Central in 2022 is going bigger and better than ever. I'll see you guys on the other side of the countdown. And until I see you guys for another video down the road, my name is Nashville, the CEO of PWC. This has been the official 5th Annual Pro Wrestling Central Awards proudly presented to you for the year 2021. Proudly presented to you by Pro Wrestling Central. Peace!